blessings to each and every one of you. Trust that you had a good night rest and that your morning is a lovely morning and that you're up and ready to put that faith to test this morning, to trust the Lord. Yes, the faith will grow when it is tested. I'm so thankful that I can come to you every morning and share with you from God's Word to encourage you. And I trust that you have been encouraged every morning as we do this. And as you respond, you do encourage me also. So I thank you very much for your response and for all the encouragement that you have been to myself. I pick up this morning in Genesis chapter 22, and there is so much for us to learn from this portion of Scripture where this man of God, Abraham, this friend of God, was told by God to take his son, his only son, the son, his beloved son, the one that he loved so much, he must take him over to Moriah, and there he would sacrifice him as a burnt offering. Abraham obeyed God, took his son over to Moriah, built an altar when he got there, took his son, laid him on the altar, took the knife in his hand, and was about to slay his son, to sacrifice his son on that altar. That's where we stop. And in verse number 12, the Bible said, And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. Now let's pick up at verse number 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him, a ram caught in a ticket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Wow. Now, if you remember carefully, and if you did not, let me remind you. Isaac said to his father, my father, and he said, here am I, my son. Isaac said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. This man, Abraham, believed that there must be a burnt offering and God would have to supply one because he knew in his seed shall Isaac be. And now as we come to verse 13, after God tested Abraham and proved that he feared him, God made a lamb available. And verse 13, Abraham lifted up his eyes after he stopped by the angel and he looked. And when he looked, behold, there was a ram caught in a ticket by his horns. Now here was a ram come from who knows where? And he's already caught. Abraham don't have to run behind him. He don't have to try to catch him. He's tangled. His horn has him all tangled. And Abraham left from his son. And he went and he took the ram. And he offered him for a burnt offering instead of his son. Abraham believed God. He did all that God said that he should do. And notice what faith did. In verse 14... Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. It also carries the meaning, the Lord will see or provide. Jehovah Jireh, we use it a lot, the Lord will provide. Abraham named that place Jehovah Jireh, reminding him how God provided himself a lamb. In verse 15, And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. And he said, By myself have I sown. Notice the angel is speaking, saith the Lord. Now who is the angel? <laughs> because someone special is speaking, you know. This person who refers to the Lord, and I believe that this Lord is none other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. He said, by myself have I sworn, said the Lord. 
For because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. I'm not going to read any more for this morning, but I want to just explain this a little bit. Notice, what Abraham had, one son. What God asked him to do, God asked him to sacrifice him, to give him to him, to use him for him. What did Abraham did? Abraham did what God said. What Abraham believed? Abraham believed, when we go back to Hebrews 11, that God was able to raise him up even if he had slain him. Now, after Abraham followed the leading of God, God provided himself a lamb. So he did not even take his son from him. He just wanted him to be obedient. But on top of that, God is swearing. God is making a promise. He's making an oath. He says, by myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, what thing? He explains it. And hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, because you have obeyed me, and you did not withhold your only son from me. He said, that in blessing, I will bless thee. How much? And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed. Seed? We mean by seed. Yes, your seed. I'm speaking of your generation. He says, thy seed as the stars of the heaven. Lord, you just was about to take away the only seed that I had. Uh, the true seed by my wife. But now you are saying that you will bless my seed as the stars of heaven. And when I look to heaven, there are so many stars. And he goes on and he said, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Wow. Is it true that God just wanted to take away Isaac from Abraham and leave him without a seed? No, 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 no. God wanted Abraham to be faithful, to be obedient. And because of his obedience, he will not only have Isaac now, but he will have as much as, you, if you can count the stars in the sky, if you can count the sand on the, on the shores, that will be Abraham's descendants. Wow, wow. Where he struggled at first to get one son, and now... He said, and in multiplied, I will multiply thy seed. God never try to take anything from us so that we don't have nothing. Given to God is planting a seed. When you give your life to God, watch, he gives you eternal life in exchange for that. Our Father, this morning, thank you very much for your word. Thank you, Lord, that we can look at men like Abraham and follow them and allow our faith to increase. And Lord, all we need to do is to do what you say. And Lord, you will do the rest. Thank you. Be with us throughout this day. Have your way in our lives. Bless your people. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you all. May God bless you. Have a great day as you follow the Lord.